St. Francis of Assisi presents The Rich and the Poor. What are you children doing here? Were you expecting us? Hmm, me and my friends are real hungry. Do you have any food for us? We don't have very much, I'm afraid, but there's some for you. That pastor is certainly going to hear from me. We raised the money for his bell, so now he owes us. What if he refuses to listen? If he refuses to give us the objects that cure disease, then he'll get no more help from us. I'm sure the pastor will help us. No one can resist you. Relax, Anna. I want oh, some food. food. I Thank want you, some. Brother Francis. must be how rich people live. Do only children live here? Hmm. Well, there's children who live with their mothers. I do too. I live with my sisters. So there are no men in this town? My father was run out of town because they said he was a thief. Yeah. My brother is out herding sheep. He only comes home at night. You mean there are no men in this town? Are you alone too, little boy? Where's your mother? She's gonna die. And who told you that? The doctor said she only had three days to live, but that was three days ago now. Take us to where she is, child. What do you want? Hello, I would like to see your mother. Your brother told me she was very ill. Please let her rest. She's gonna die. That's what the doctor said. Who is it? Who are you talking to? It's the friar. Let him come in. You children wait outside and pray. What can he do? I hope he doesn't think we're gonna pay him. We don't have any money. We're too poor for anyone. I have lived a very sinful life. Death is my only reward. Sister, do not be afraid of God. He knows your sins, but he loves your children. And remember, he also loves you. You should have no regrets. Madam, you are truly blessed. Because of the love you have shown these children, you will live. Believe the Lord still has great need of you here on earth, my sister. Are you sure? The doctor said that I would die today, and nothing could be done to change that. No, only the Lord Jesus himself decides whether or not you shall continue to live. <sighs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sell all you have and give the proceeds to charity. Do not lay up for yourselves treasure on earth where moths and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. That is what the Lord Jesus says to you. But what do you do instead of following his words? I say, you're content to just allow the poor people to wither and die in the streets. You allow them to die of neglect and indifference. Children beg for bread, and there is no one who comes forward to help them. On behalf of Jesus, our Savior, you must help the poor among us. Instead, you hoard grain in your barns, your wine in barrels, your gold in coffers. You gladly spend your money to buy nice clothes, rich foods for your families, and expensive shoes. But what do you do for the poor? What? It's as if you've been hypnotized by Satan and dance with his minions. Hear my words, good people. We have all sinned, all of us. Jesus told us that it is easier for a camel to pass between the eye of a needle than for a wealthy man to enter the kingdom of heaven. But do you understand these holy words? Do you love Satan so much that you would leave the poor to die outside the walls of your city? In fact, you have even set up guards to keep them from entering through your gates. 
You love Satan. That's what he said. He said if you're wealthy that you do not love the Lord. I don't think you have understood exactly what Brother Francis was saying. I'm sure he was only speaking metaphorically. And I think what he was saying was heresy. One should not be allowed to openly speak as if the honor and faith of the nobility of this city is suspect merely because they are wealthy. We all demand that Brother Francis be reprimanded by the church. But who are you to give orders to the clergy? You're right, Lord Bishop, but surely you can see that something has to be done to stop this madman. I'm quite sure that Brother Francis meant no offense to you personally, my lord. But Bishop, never before have the Christians of the city been scolded so harshly. Brother Francis is a man of God. I am sure that this is all some kind of ugly misunderstanding. Maybe it's a misunderstanding, but let him be interrogated by the church. And if he insists on continuing these unfounded charges, punish him appropriately. Thank you for being my guide, Brother Dog, but there was really no need. Here I am, Altiero. I see that I was expected. I'm eternally grateful that you accepted to come to my son, Brother Francis. It is the Lord you should thank. My son is waiting inside for you. Because you prayed, you should also be witness to this. Why don't we build a tower from these blocks? I bet I can build a bigger tower than you. I'm great at making really big towers. Yes, but I can build better than you. We should have a contest to see who can build the highest tower. All right, but if you win, you have to come outside with me and play with the dog. Uh, I would like that, but I can't walk. Let's start building and see what happens. <laughs> That's my block! <laughs> it looks like you win. You earned it. I win, I win, I told you! That means you have to come outside. But you don't understand. Everyone knows that I've always been lame, and I've never been able to walk. Luca, do you know who this man is on the cross? Of course, it's Jesus. See how his feet are nailed? He couldn't walk when he was nailed to the cross, but three days later he rose and walked again. Yes, I know. So I want you to kiss the crucifix, and then you can come outside and play with me. Luca? No. Oh, his legs must hurt an awful lot, but after I kiss them, then Jesus won't cry. Mwah. 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 Good. Now let's both go outside. Mm. Huh? Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh. This is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Go pinch the bone! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the way Jesus wishes to let you know that he loves you all. Gentlemen, I'm incredibly humbled. Please come in. Today is a day of celebration. Please come in and enjoy it with my family. What are you celebrating, Altiero? I had a lame child and now he's healthy. That is the reason for my celebration. We have not come here to celebrate with you, Altiero. Unfortunately, we have only come here to take Brother Francis with us. He'll be thoroughly questioned and punished if necessary. What has he done that requires punishment? Because in Gubbio, during a sermon, that man dared to speak against us from his pulpit. He's dangerous. I don't believe a word that you've said. I heard his heresy with my own ears. He said that the rich will all end up in the fires of hell. That means you too, because you're also a wealthy man, right? If Brother Francis said we'll all end up spending eternity in hell, then I agree. I have complete faith in everything he says. Be careful, Altiero. If you don't join me, it will cost you dearly. You will certainly live to regret it. 
Not only will I not join you, I'll go against with pleasure. This morning my family was visited by an angel of the Lord. I'm taking the pious road now, and I doubt that your plans will succeed anyway. I will remember this betrayal of yours until the very end of my days. Very good, and I will never forget you either. This is the ancient home of our mother Mary. Praise be her holy name. His mother was kneeling down with sorrow. His mother was kneeling with sorrow. We near the rugged cross. A sword pierced her soul with suffering. How tortured was. They are the Pilgrims of Penance. And where are they going? They are headed towards Santiago de Compostela. Come, brothers, we join them. Aren't you traveling with us to Santiago? No, brother, we're heading further. To where exactly? We go where we will only find the poorest of the poor on earth. We're going to look for the infamous lost souls in the land of the Saracens. But that's impossible. We're going to Morocco. You're crazy. They kill all Christians in Morocco. Then I assure you we have nothing to fear. We will die as martyrs for Christ. Pray for me, brother. When your time inevitably comes, pray for me, my brother. The Apostle James lived here for seven years. He died as a martyr of Christ in the East, and his body was brought here and buried at a secret location. Nobody knew what that location was. Christians of this land saw a star shining brightly in the heavens, revealing the site of the tomb of this saint. It was called Campus Stele, the Field of the Star. From that day, pilgrims began arriving here from all parts of the world and everyone who comes here is forgiven and healed of the diseases of the body and also the soul. We have now arrived in this land of grace and forgiveness. We will walk boldly towards our Christian martyrdom, my brothers. Father, be with us. My children, come in and warm up. Thank you, sister. Uh, uh, uh. The poor man has fainted. Put him on that bed and close this door before the entire ocean floods this house. Hurry, brother. There's no time to lose. If he doesn't die tonight, that means he will most likely recover. May God hear you, sister. All is well, brothers. The storm has ended. Tomorrow morning we'll set out again. We will go to Santiago, where we will seek a doctor. Then we can bring Brother Francis back to Assisi. Wait, Bernardo! You mean we're not going to Morocco? No, brothers. The hand of God has changed the way of our path. We are going back home. Uh, 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 uh. We are returning to Santiago, Brother Francis. No, we must get to Morocco, Brother Bernard. The hand of God has altered our course, Brother Francis. Don't you remember we were all in that terrible storm? 
Please don't talk like that. Only God could have made such a storm. It's true. I remember. Death was about to take me, but Jesus came to me and... Uh... Brothers, we must somehow be in Santiago before dark. St. Martin, pray for us. St. Nicholas, pray for us. St. Anthony, pray for us. St. Martin, pray for us. St. Martin, pray for us. St. Nicholas, pray for us. St. Anthony, pray for us. St. Benedict, pray for us. St. Bernard, pray for us. St. Martin, pray for us. Jesus, Jesus Christ, my good shepherd, my Lord. My lord! Uh, uh, what's this? What do you see, Brother Francis? Huh? Huh? What is it? What do you see? Look, Jesus is coming. It's the Lord! Uh, here I am, Lord. Uh, 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 I have seen Jesus, and it is our duty to serve him. You, Bernard, for holy obedience, must now stay with this leper, because he is Jesus. You must pray with him so that he will be healed. We will return for you when we come back this way, brother. Ugh. My brother. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brothers, brothers. Francis, this is Yago. He was a leper. When I washed his wounds, he was healed. Oh. You called me Jesus, and now I'm healed. Bless you, Francis. I called you Jesus because you are Jesus, and one day you will understand. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a long journey ahead. If you come with us, I will explain everything while we are walking. And that is why I say he is guilty, illustrious bishop. Wherever he goes, Brother Francis threatens all who are not poor with the fires of hell. And his friars do the same. They scare innocent people with damnation. This is nothing more than heresy. All things on this earth were created by God. What harm can there be in owning them? Why should wealth be a sin? The way I see it, Brother Francis is only preaching what is written in the Gospel. He is only repeating the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't understand this. Doesn't he and his brothers know that the nobility will defend the honor of the Church with their swords when needed? And at the risk of their own lives? Don't they understand that it is because of men like us that they have the freedom and safety to live with the peace they desire? Shouldn't these friars know this? Yes, I'm quite sure that Francis and his brothers know and appreciate this. You, however, would do well to listen to what this humble friar has to say. I have found his words to be inspired. We listened to his words of hate. I was shocked and appalled by what he said. We tried to take him to trial with the bishop of my own city, but he had escaped to Morocco. Now that he has returned, he sounds to me like he is more obsessed than ever. That is why, with many other lords, bishops, and priests, all faithful servants of the Church, we have asked for him to be tried before the Pope, to be condemned for his slander and punished. Huh? Take this, my noble lord. Take this little note as my special gift to you. And what have you written on it? They are the words of Jesus, copied from his Gospel. I hope you find someone to read them to you and explain them clearly. You will pay a price for your insolence. 
The truth in the gospel can sometimes be blunt, my lord. Do you think the Pope will condemn us, Francis? No, I don't believe so. He will understand us. He is the vicar of Christ on earth. He is wise and learned in the ways of our Lord. Poverty, like the apostles of the first church, and love others more than themselves. They are good disciples of Jesus. Francis is a saint. He'll be okay. It's so wrong to put him on trial. If the Pope condemns him, he will not be able to return. Brother Francis and his friars stood accused in front of our Holy Father, Pope Honorius III, for teaching the truth of the word of Jesus. And as requested, the Pope has made his pronouncement and has judged this trial in the name of Jesus, our only Savior. We, Pope Honorius III, servant of the servant of God, to all our beloved archbishops, bishops, cardinals, and priests, send you peace and well-being. We wish for it to be known by all that we recognize the friars of the Order of Francis to be devout Catholics and loyal to the Roman Church. Hooray! Lord bless Brother Francis! We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 